right guys welcome back to another m creator lore video so today what we're going to be working on is a couple new mechanics uh for this particular block i want a couple things uh mainly to make items spoil over time specific items not just every item and uh then i also want to create a inventory count uh, to show how much space is left in the container so uh, there's a couple things here. I also created, uh, been working on the features and the biomes and stuff like that. And one of the things that I worked on was actually adding beaches. So as you can see, near water is now, there's basically sand near there's where there's water. And uh, there's still, still some things that I need to work on, like the uh, structure generation and stuff like that. But that will be in the future for planning and stuff. Uh, but uh, today we'll be working on the barrel and we're trying to get that all set up today. And uh, yeah, I think that will be a good day for working on this. Quick announcement at the end of the video. Make sure to watch till the end. Okay, so the first thing that I needed to do was go ahead and create a, a block. I need to do a, basically set up the block and I've already done all that. Uh, what we need to do is actually set up uh, the inventory. The inventory is set up for the most part, but we still need to configure a few things. So I need an update tick for that. Uh, procedure and that's basically all the things that we needed the um the block itself uh the gui looks like this we're gonna probably start with this making the counter system now i want the counter to basically display how much uh items are in the storage of the block to begin with and this is going to be a little bit harder because it is designed on the um right hand side so when we're working with uh, percentage or how many items are left and stuff like that, it's going to kind of shift over a little bit more and to the uh, left side. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to have to make a couple different conditions and stuff later on. Um, but uh, for the first thing that I wanted to do is I want to get the uh, amount of items in the container itself and basically the stack size of those items. So Basically, what I can do is I can go ahead and figure out how, how much the capacity of the entire container is. And for, for example, like if we have, like the default storage is 64, but if the item only stores one item, then the storage amount drops quite a significantly large amount. So we need to make sure that we actually calculate the storage amount properly and before we actually create the... Um, the actual test. So first thing I needed to do is get the number of the slots of how many slots there are and then I needed to go ahead and um, basically multiply the slots by how many inventory and we're getting that as the, um, the actual value of the storage. I'm not sure if that's how I'm going to end up doing it because I still needed to go ahead and create the uh, get the inventory for the um, the amount of items and stuff like that. So I've been kind of playing around with the different blocks, trying to figure out the best method of doing this. And uh, I started working with stacks because I needed to know how many stacks there are in order to actually get the amount. So basically what I want to do is get max stack size. And we're going to basically just create this whole entire procedure to basically get the amount of stack sizes for the entire count of the items. So basically I want to know if the size is empty, uh, the, the slot is empty. And basically if that's true, then I want to apply the default um, slot count or slot um, size to it. So basically if it's empty, then I'm going to be setting the stack size to plus 64 because that's how many a empty slot would be. And I'm going to set this to max size. So this is going to allow us to get the general information about the max size. And then we're going to have target slot, which is going to allow us to shift the target location for the slot ID. And then we have the slot count, which is how many um, slots we have in the chest itself or the container. And then stack is just allowing us to um, basically work with a few other things with that. So uh, this one, this repeater, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get the, um, I can't remember what I'm working on at the moment. It, it has to do with the size. So I need to calculate 
uh, the remaining um, items. So basically I'm getting the number of items and then I'm getting the maximum stack size at the top there. So maximum stack size and then I'm getting the uh, number of items in all the container, uh, in all the slots. And basically what I'm doing from there is I'm going to basically multiply or subtract, pardon me, or uh, I'm dividing the max stack size, sub, pardon me, subtracting the max stack size from the, um, the actual stack that we just basically assigned for how many, and that should give us our general amount of value of how many uh, items are left in the slot. So basically it's going to test for the maximum size and then it's going to going to basically get the um, the total amount of items in the size and we're going to calculate if there is um, space left and then we're going to basically take the max size subtract the actual amount of storage being used and that will give us our final uh, value in size itself so basically, I'm just going to go ahead and round this down just to uh, make sure that the number stays um, a solid number. And then that way we can work with it a little bit easier. So I have this uh, particular thing here. I'm just calling that particular procedure into the formatting thing. I'm just using it to get a solid number um, for a display so it's not point form. So basically, if we go ahead and place some barrels in here, you can see this is basically what it's doing is it's uh, lowering the amount of storage number. So as we basically fill this up, you can see the number starts moving over to this, the uh, right hand side. So what I need to do in order to fix that is I need to make a couple different um, numbers and uh, basically go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and try this with a, another item, something that is a little bit more, uh, less of a stack. So we'll go with this helmet here and then it should drop the percent quite down a lot so because this is only going to stack once uh, it counts as 64 right so if we fill this up uh, we should have 64 left and then zero so this this is working uh, we do need to however um, fix that text uh, display and move it over a little bit to the left so the first thing to do is I needed to move this over a little bit. Um, we're going to go ahead and just add 000 for our default text. And I needed to figure out how this is actually looking because when I had it displaying, it was um, not exactly in the proper location. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually set these to four zeros so I get an idea where it's gonna be located. And then I'm going to overlay the numbers. Uh, there's going to be one with three digits and then one with two digits and then one with one digit as well as the four digit one. And that will give us an idea of where the um, block actually is. And we can work with that uh, for the layout for um, the general positioning of the uh, thing there. So basically I needed to set up that whole procedure there, but I needed um, to create display conditions for all of these uh, particular things because I don't want them all showing at the same time uh, because that would uh, mess up the actual um, readability of that. So what I needed to do was I needed to create, uh, get the text amount or text um, from the uh, particular storage barrel so I'm getting the amount that we're basically displaying it as. And then what I need to do is I needed to get the length of it. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the displays to basically count the total number of characters instead of basically having it just all the same. And this should help it. Now, the there's still an issue. It is going into... it's kind of aligning to the left now but it's a little bit over to the um, too far to the right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and move it a little bit more over to the um, the left hand side just a couple pixels just to make see make sure that it's kind of aligned with the GUI a little bit more um, it's a little bit hard to see I don't think the text is the same which makes it a little bit harder for um, to know where the positioning and stuff is for the actual thing. So I need to move some of these um, 
blocks up just so I can move these ones over. And I'm moving it over two pixels, which should fix the issue. And then I need to move them all down again. So basically I need to grab these and then move them up a little bit more and then bring these ones down. So bring that down there and then I should be able to grab this one. Whoop. I'll grab this one and bring it down. There we go. All right, so that should be aligned. Let's go ahead and test. And yes, it looks a lot better now that it's uh, aligned to the left. So I'm basically just gonna add this in and shrink it down to 64 and then we got zero. So yeah, that looks a lot better, I think, than having it kind of shift over to the uh, left-hand side every time that a number changes. And it looks more professional, I guess. So now we can start working on the next feature, which is going to be spoiling. So uh, we can start working on that part uh, now. So what I needed to do with the update tick uh, is I needed to go ahead and create um, a condition for the item. So I want to test if the item in the slot, uh, we're going to use a variable for that slot ID. Uh, I want to know if it's uh, tail biomes slash food, and we're going to go ahead, um, maybe we'll go to spoiling, that makes it um, a little bit more um, easier to understand than just food, because maybe you want other items to spoil as well. So um, spoils, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test if it's not empty, so if the slot is not empty, and I want to know if the um, condition is also the part of the same tag. So if it is in the tag spoils, then I want to make sure that I can go ahead and do that. Uh, basically do my action, right? So what I want to do is I'm looking over the thing and I wanted to, I was thinking about damaging the item. Then I was like, okay, maybe not all items have particularly damage on them. So that might not work for actually lowering the um, the spoiling. Now I could create a kind of a huge system for uh, basically sending a lower and all that other stuff and doing it through commands and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I might do, I might do that later on uh, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and basically uh, remove the item. Now I needed to play around with the script a little bit uh, because I wasn't sure exactly what um, the shrink thing would do and I wanted to go ahead and set a get a MBT timer from the block itself and we're going to make that timer in just a second but we're going to test if it's equal to or less than zero and then we're going to set the spoil timer to we'll probably set it to like one one minute so every minute uh, item will spoil we might adjust that time later or maybe even make a config file for uh, or add it to a config file so we can basically allow people to change the setting. So basically what I wanted to do is add this tag and then we're going to add a couple foods to this particular one. So anything that we want to spoil and decrease over time in stack size we can go ahead and add this to the thing. So I'm going to add, um, I was thinking about adding flowers but I'm going to go with rice and the berries for now. And then basically what I'm going to do is I've changed up the system a little bit more. What I'm doing now is I'm basically setting the number of items and I'm going to um, actually set the slot size because we're working with update ticks. So it needs to be um, work with the slot blocks themselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here, delete that. And then what I need to do is I need to go ahead and clean up this a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and get the amount of items. And we're going to get that slot ID. So we are basically set up on that part. And I need to go ahead and create uh, or get the block count. So the stack size and the count there. So I was going to go with um, some of these things, but I was I needed to find the block procedure. And that's under block data. And then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom there, uh, we should be able to find the one that says slot size and then we can get the slot size and we're going to get the slot ID for this to make sure that's the same one and then this will basically subtract the um, actual thing. So if we go in here uh, I have it all set up it's filled up with a whole bunch of random items and stuff like that. Now I have to wait for the spoil timer to actually happen so basically what's happening 
is I fast forwarded a little bit and it basically spoiled the item. So as you can see, the, the straw didn't get affected, but all the other items in the slots did uh, when the block updated. Now, I want to add a config file, I'll probably do this off camera because it's pretty tedious and stuff like that to make the config files. But um, overall, uh, it, the spoiling system does work. So um, the only thing I need to do now is I need to go ahead and um, make the uh, spoiling s system or other containers like the crafting stations don't actually um, store items anymore. So I have to drop the items and stuff. But that's all I have for today. And uh, as you can see, I have worked on the beaches and stuff. I'm pretty happy with that. But thanks for watching. And now just for the quick ad. I have this friend that has their own server hosting company and they have the lowest prices in the server hosting community. And they've given me a promo code to give to you guys. So if you want to get a good deal for the first month, then you can use the promo code Northwest for 45% off your first month. The offer expires July 19th, 2034. The link to their site is in the description.